Hello everyone and welcome to another anatomy video. This is Dr. Ian from the Veterinary Anatomy channel. Today we will talk about the craniolateral muscles of the cross, which include the flexors of the tarsus and extensors of the digits. So let's get started. So the muscles in the craniolateral group of the cross includes uh, the flexors of the tarsus and the extensors of the digits. The flexors of the tarsus includes also the cranial tibial muscle, the long fibula muscle, and the short fibula muscle, while the extensors of the digits include the long digital extensor muscle, the lateral digital extensor muscle, and the long extensor muscle of the first digit. So here to be able to dissect all the muscles of the cross or the muscles which we can see in this area here we mean actually the extensors and flexors of the carbos and digits in this case we have to uh, remove the fascia which we can find in this area here this is the fascia of the cross it's a very thick fascia as you can see surrounding all of the muscles found in this area from both sides you know from the lateral side and even from the medial side so we are talking really about a very thick fascia found in this area here. as we have this uh, hind limb here in our hand uh, in this case uh, while you're removing the fascia and after removing of course uh, the skin you can find superficially this very superficial vein called in the lateral view here the lateral saphenos vein the lateral saphenous vein in carnivores is a very good place uh, to take blood or to inject medication on the medial surface if we move just to the medial surface here we can find another vein this one here i hope it's clear this is the medial saphenous vein it's also used for uh, collect uh, for blood collecting uh, in mainly in the cat so for example in the cat we we use more the medial saphenous vein which we can see here while in the dog it's also it's better to use the lateral saphenous vein it's very clear moved uh, moves actually at this level here the lateral saphenous vein and medial saphenous vein so what we've done as i said before we cut the fascia of the cross in this area here we also cut all tendons of the long muscles of the thigh including the uh, biceps femur the semitendinal the semimembranosus in this area we cut also the tendons of the muscles on the medial side here including the gracilis muscle this big muscle here including the sartorius muscle with the cranial and caudal part and after that uh, you know you can see and dissect all other muscles of the tarsus and digits here so let's remove this one here and and look at this one here in this area here we can uh, divide the muscles into two groups actually we mean the muscles here so the flexors and extensors of the tarsal joint and of the digits so we can divide these muscles into two groups the craniolateral group located craniolaterally of course and the caudal group of muscles which are located caudally caudal to the tibia and fibula here and let's start now with the cranial group or craniolateral group of these muscles the first muscle which we can see just under the skin here this one here is the cranial tibial muscle the cranial tibial muscle originate from the lateral surface of the tibial crest so here we can see the tibial tuberosity and from the tibial tuberosity toward the shaft of the tibia so this is the shaft of the tibia we have the tibial crest from the lateral surface of the tibial crest uh, the cranial tibial muscle originate or start, starts from there and inserts to the 
second metatarsal bone. So if you follow the tendon of this muscle here in the cranial view, you will find that the tendon goes directly to the second metatarsal bone. The function of this muscle here is, you know, the somehow it's a flexor of the tarsal joint and at the same time it uh, uh, rotate, uh, rotate the bow, uh, the bow to the medial side. This muscle, the tibial, cranial tibial muscle is innervated by a branches from the fibular nerve. Here we have the common fibular nerve. The next muscle which we can see just under the cranial tibial muscle in this area is the ex long digital extensor muscle. The long digital extensor muscle from the name, it's extensor muscle of the digits. And this muscle originate actually from the extensor fossa, which we can find on the lateral uh, condyle of the femur bone there. Uh, the tendon of this muscle moves inside uh, the extensor groove, yeah? which we can find uh, lateral to the tibial tuberosity. And here we have the long digital extensor muscle. The long digital extensor muscle inserts uh, to the distal phalanx or B3 of all fingers. So if you follow the tendon of this muscle here, you will find that the tendon will be divided and gives four main tendons me show you these tendons here one for each digit and of course contraction of this muscle here if we just contract this muscle let me show you so contraction of this muscle will extend the digits as you can see here extend the digits and at the same time flex the tarsal joint so this muscle is mainly for the extension of the digits, but at the same time, it flexes the tarsal joint. The long digital extensor muscle is innervated also by branches from the fibular nerve. And in this case, uh, let me just show you exactly the origin and insertion of this muscle. So here from the extensor fossa, of the femur bone. Uh, this is the origin of the long digital extensor muscle. Uh, the tendon moves inside the extensor uh, groove here and the insertion area of this muscle is P3 of all, of course, digits, the dorsal area of the B3, the long digital extensor muscle. The next muscle which we can see just uh, caudal to the long digital extensor muscle is this muscle here. This is the long fibular muscle. The long fibular muscle uh, originate from the lateral tibial condyle. So lateral tibial condyle or lateral condyle of the tibia as you can see here and inserts to the plantar cervus if you follow if you follow the tendon this is the tendon of this muscle if you follow the tendon it inserts to the plantar cervus of the uh, metatarsal bones if you follow the tendon here so you can find that this tendon inserts to the plantar cervus of the metatarsal bones at this level here so, the long fibular muscle innervated also by the fibul fibular nerve, fibular nerve or nervous fibularis, and the function of this muscle is uh, firstly to flex the tarsal joint. It flexes the tarsal joint. Let me just contract this muscle here. It flexes the tarsal joint. It flexes the tarsal joint and at the same time rotate also the bow medially. So this was the long fibular muscle. 
again if you look exactly so we say that uh, the origin of this uh, muscle is the lateral condyle so this is the lateral condyle of the tibia and insertion is the caudal or plantar in this case plantar surface of the metacarpal bones so if we move a little bit caudally here we can see another muscle called the lateral digital extensor muscle so this is the lateral digital extensor muscle the lateral digital extensor muscle originate from the proximal fibula so from the fibula which we can palpate here and inserts from the name again to the distal phalanx of the last digit so which is the digit number five Contraction of this muscle will cause like extension of the Sorry, let me just show you that so extension of the last digit here So here we can see the tendon look exactly this is the muscle and this is the end tendon of this muscle here Let me just show you here So this is the muscle and this is the tendon inserts as you can see here to the last or distal phalanx of the last, rib, uh, last finger or digit. This muscle is also innervated by the fibular nerve and um, we talked about the function. So finally here in the craniolateral group but distally we can find another muscle in this area here this muscle called the short fibular muscle the short fibular muscle or fibularis brevis this muscle originate from the fibular shaft so from the fibular shaft and inserts to the metatarsal bone number five the function of this muscle is extension of the tarsal joint extension of the tarsal joint and this muscle is also innervated by the branches from the fibular nerve again let me show you the The, uh, the the hind limb the skeleton of the hind limb here so we talked about the lateral digital extensor muscle this muscle here and we say that it originates from the uh, from the proximal fibula so from the proximal side of the fibula this is the fibula here and inserts of course to the b3 of the last digit and uh, the last one which we talked about here is the short fibular muscle the short fibular muscle originate from the shaft of the fibula in this area here as you can see compare this one with that one and inserts to the metacarpal uh, metatarsal sorry if I, I say metacarpal in the video so metatarsal bone number five